Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. As you saw from the description, this is a Dollar Tree haul from the multiple Dollar Trees that I've visited. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up. I uh, didn't organize this as well as I should have, but let's just get started with the bags. Now, you know, I love the Dollar Tree bags. This one is just beautiful. There's two, I bought two, not two of the same, but two this size. And of course it says Merry Christmas. I just think that's really pretty. I love this little star tag. And of course the side is the little Buffalo check, just like this which is really nice, really good size. I'll be adding that to my stash. That's worth $1.25. And then I have this one here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Every time I hear that phrase or I read it, I think of Andy Williams' song, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, which always makes me feel so nostalgic. And of course, there's the side of that bag. These are beautiful. I love the, the handles and, of course, the little... The little tag here is really nice too. And that is that, which I love. My stash, if you guys want to see my stash of, of gift wrap stuff, I'll show you my whole gift wrap station if you'd like to see it. Okay, let's see. I did find one snowflake plate. I wasn't going to leave it in the store. I will find, look for five more if it takes me till next year. But this is beautiful. I hope I find them before the Christmas holiday seasons because I would love to host a couple of uh, little small get-togethers and eat on these beautiful plates. My pumpkin plates will get packed up today after the end of the... Well, we never eat on those for like a Thanksgiving meal because we have such a large family. That would be for my everyday dinners or some small get-togethers where I invite somebody over to the house. But those get packed up today with the fall decorations and then we'll be decorating Christmas tomorrow fully. I have got a couple of trees up ahead of time, but not in the main areas. But anyway, there's my gorgeous snowflake plate. I've been looking at this for like two years from our Canadian uh, sisters who go to their Dollar Trees who seem to have a plethora of this for the past two years. And I've never seen one plate in our store until this year. So there's that. Come on, Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right. Let's see next. Okay. I flipped when Crafty Girl Marie is her name. She did a haul and had these these color form games. And now you know I've got the whole collection. I've got Battleship Monopoly, Trouble and Sorry. And I've I've showed those in previous hauls, taken them out of their boxes and stuff. And if you'd like me to do a little breakdown of the entire collection of these color form games, that's fine. She found, as did I. Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, and guess who? I've, I've got to open these. Now, I'm already seeing these boxes are not meant to be durable. So I'm already thinking of something that I can do along the, um, you know, the zipper pouches that uh, Dollar Tree has that you can... I'm thinking about looking into getting one of the larger zipper pouches oh my gosh this is so cute okay all right so you have the box these elements inside look like they would fit in the all right so here are these little stickers there's the, the little pieces and the different things okay so you have the frosted play palace Nana's Nut House, Lollipop Palace, and Peppermint Forest. And then the little characters. Okay. Here's your game instructions. All right. These, I believe, are the pieces. They're little circles. You can see that. Circles. And I bet these little guys go on the circles. And turn that light off. Is that better? Can you see that better? I'm playing around with the lighting. Anyway, you punch these out. There's one, two, three, four, five. 
and there's four characters. Okay, I'm gonna have to read the instructions to see how this is put together, but it looks like they'll fit onto the, I see the little character and then I'm putting the circle over the top. It seems like it'll fit. All right, <clears throat> and then you have the cards that you have to punch out. And then the game, the game board itself. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I might break this out today or have this available. Oh, I see here, look. All right, they have little dotted lines. There's one there, 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 and up here where those other stickers go, and down here too. Okay. So that's Candyland, which I think is adorable. And see where those things are supposed to, oh yeah, and you see the signs here too. Where each of those, the forest and peppermint forest. I'm not sure where all that. Lollipop Palace. Anyway, I'm looking forward. And I like that you could put all the pieces in here and then stick it into a zipper pouch. So for now, they're going to go in into their boxes. This goes in that way. Yeah. So Candyland. Now let's look at Shoots and Ladders. Again, I think my granddaughter would get a big kick out of these games. I want to get her the the um, the real games, not the color form version, for her because I believe she's old enough. Are these three and up? Two or four players? Age of six and up. All right. Well, she still might be a little young. Let's get all the pieces out for shoots and ladders. Okay. And once again, you have the instructions and rules for the game. Then you have, oh my gosh, this teeny tiny dice. You have the punch out circles for the players or the avatars, whatever you call that. And then here are the stickers that will be, I imagine the four children at the top are for the avatars, for the players. And then here's the game board. And it looks like, yeah, there's little missing stickers that you get from here and put them on the board. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I cannot wait. This is an incredible deal. This is worth a dollar. It's worth a dollar twenty-five. I love having these in my stash. And then now I'm looking for a way to either strengthen this box because it definitely isn't meant to be a durable box. But there's got to be some way you could, you know, cut this part out, stick it into one of the larger clear zipper pouches, put all those things inside, and then get one of those uh, book rings and put them all together this one i'm super curious about just like i was super curious about monopoly which did not disappoint let me just say the miniature money and all that stuff they had in there was just killing me so let's see how this one is set up okay oh my gosh okay here's your instructions it's just a one page and then Oh, I see. All right. So in what you have are, let me see this. If I'm Here's the two boards, which look to be identical. Yep. They look to be, yep, completely identical. So you're asking the questions and you put a sticker over the ones that you cancel out until you're left with just the one. That is so cute. And What's this? Place the frame around your chosen mystery person on your board. Aha! So you pick a frame and you put it around. And then, of course, these right here are for 
when you're asking your questions and you're eliminating. Does your person have a beard? No. Well, then you put a sticker on this guy and a sticker on this guy. See what I mean? And a sticker on that guy. So that's fun. That's fun. I'm really glad I got these. Now I believe I have the entire collection of these color form games. I tell you, color forms um, was a very popular toy when I was a child. Uh, the color first color form sets were just uh, shapes, vinyl. They were the vinyl sticker, reusable sticker type things. But it was just your basic circle, triangle, square, rectangle, and varying sizes. And then you could just make pictures out of the shapes. That was the first. Then they started, the, my, the set I remember was a Charlie Brown theater set. And it had all the costumes for different plays that they could put on. And it had three characters. It was Lucy... Maybe it was four characters. Lucy, Linus, Charlie Brown, and Snoopy. And um, the, there was a frame and you could, they were kind of on this, um, the characters are already in a uh, a setting, I should say. It was a, like they were backstage and curtains. It's, I'm not explaining this well, but they were on these knobs on this with this bar that you could move them back and forth on. But it, that was it. You couldn't take them off that little bar. You had to put the outfit on them. And yeah, that was a little frustrating for me, unless I was doing it wrong. I don't know. But anyway, um, I did pick up some more of this glittered, what do they call it? Glittered drape. I put some of this on the table with my patriotic Christmas tree. And then I realized, wow, that's that's really kind of nice. I think I need a few more of those. And so I picked up uh, two more, and I have a third one downstairs because I picked up four um, for the Patriotic Tree. I wasn't sure, you know, how they would fit or what I wanted to do there. And I only needed three for the table, so I had an extra one. But it's interesting because they tell you on the back, your mantle, your tree, and even uh, window or doors, around the window or doors. So I've got a few things I'm going to try. I do have a snow village that I've been using different things for. So I thought I would just, you know, some of them have been just white pillowcases or pieces of white sheet or white tablecloth because the, the little characters um, uh, stand better when, on that flat, slick surface. And they lean sometimes when you're doing this. So anyway, that was that. Um, I also picked up. The Christmas tree, these are really cute. You know, I thought of something else you could do with these, and that was turn them into, um, have all the hot cocoa things inside. Of course, you, you'd you have to be careful these wouldn't bust open. But you could fill these with marshmallows and crushed candy canes and include that with a packet of cocoa tied to the outside if you're worried about loose cocoa being in the ornaments. But anyway, these are really cute. So I do have the, um, the yellow star the red bells, I think it was, and the green um, Christmas trees. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to put something inside and let some let my guests come and take them home. I did pick up this for my granddaughter. I always found these to be very, very fun, and this might enthuse her. I'm not sure. It's one of those fun things that she could sit down and play. Now, if you're going to have people over who have children, um, I recommend picking up some of these things or going to the Target dollar spot and then finding some inexpensive little things that might keep them busy. Hello, these games are amazing. And it's a thoughtful thing to do for your friends who have children. And being someone who raised four daughters, going to someone's home and having them make preparations for entertaining my little ones was always very touching to me. I was just like, it made me feel like I had value and that my children, you know, meant something to them that they would take the time. And so this is a, just a fun, great way. And you can even, uh, 
let them pick something to take home and let them play with it. You know, color books and crayons are always my go-to because that was my favorite. But I love the options we're getting now. I mean, these little pinball games and, of course, the guess who. And if you find out specific things about the kids, you know, you could have storybooks or, you know, the Barbies or the Matchbox cars or something that's there for them as a gift or something if you want to have a basket that is available just for children who come to your home to go into and play with something. It's always a thoughtful thing to do. I did pick up the fourth in this series of Rudolph books. They usually have pictures of the other titles that are in the series. I'm kind of disappointed they don't have that. But I did not have the Let's Play Outside. The only one I had for Bumble was Bumble's Christmas Tree. And then there was Santa and the Misfit Toys. And then um, uh, something with the Elves, Elves Day Off or something like that. So... These are definitely geared towards the younger toddler group, which is perfect because my granddaughter's three. These are very simple with bright pictures. And of course, Rudolph. I grew up watching Rudolph. I still watch Rudolph. <laughs> All right. And I did see this one too, the Gingerbread Christmas. I wanted to get a better look at this. This seems like something I can do with my granddaughter. It does. There's 40 puffy stickers and you see those right here it's taped down so I guess people can't steal them which is good I hate it when I see people opening packaging in the stores I don't see them opening or I'd say something yes I'm that person but um <clears throat> you know it just disappoints me when people just take you know I don't like that one bit but there's your stickers and then this is a sticker activity book so look it's got a word search it's got a crossword puzzle um, how to teaching how to draw a gingerbread and then a space to draw your own, a coloring page, which I think is darling. Oh, I love the spot, the differences. And then there's a maze. I'm not really a fan of mazes, but another coloring page. Which cup of cocoa has the most marshmallows? So that's a good counting game for kids. All right. Just a bunch of fun different things oh my gosh look at this count the gum drops count them here and then you mark down how many oops mark down here how many you found and then untangle the lights oh another word search see those are the things I love crosswords not so sure tic-tac-toe a couple rounds of tic-tac-toe unscramble the words see these are just fun activities you can have this out oh look connect the dots this is filled. And then in the end, they have the answer key right back here. But I love it. And then there's, oh, there seems to be some joke cards. Punch out and fold in the middle of each card. Answers will be on the back. Oh, here's one. What's a snowman's favorite cereal? Frosted Flakes. <laughs> but it's got, these are little cute little punch out cards here. And you just fold them in half. Really cute. And then these are little door hangers. All right. And then here's some more stickers. Just regular. These aren't the puffy. That's a good buy for $1.25. I'll take it. All right. All right. I was going to open these. I've been curious. This is 100 piece gift tags. They did have the one that looked like a tray of cookies. And I do want to go back and get that one. I didn't see it at this Dollar Tree when I went, but we'll see. Yeah, it's all the same. All right, so you're getting, there's 100 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, 10 sheets of these and I think out of this one, I'm loving this gingerbread and the stocking. Stockings are kind of my thing. I mean, they're all adorable. Just darling. Okay, so there's that. And let's see, this one. I absolutely loved these tags. And these look like they're all exactly the same. There's 52 pieces here, which of course includes the stickers down here. I don't think there's a need for me to open them. I do love the red and white twine that they give you to thread through these tags. So there's that. Okay. 
I did pick up another pencil and crayon sharpener. I absolutely love that there's a crayon sharpener included in that. And I did pick up some of these fashion pins. I'm going to open these up, and these are going to be stocking stuffers. Not the whole pack. All right. I also picked up these tags. Wonderful. Two from. Beautiful. I've got the two other sets. And then I picked up some more of these five piece. These are the square boxes. And I'll open these up just so you can see what the other designs look like. I'll show you how they how they fit. These are, this is like my favorite box. Don't ask me why. But here's the first. This is the lid. You see the side has that cute design. Just matches the hat. And then you have this reindeer one. The sides look like that with the little dotted Swiss. You have this one, which is really kind of cute with all the words, holiday, Christmas, snow, Christmas. That has the larger polka dots. You have the penguins. Very cute. Again, with the tiny dots. And then you have the Christmas wishes, holiday cheer, jolly holiday cheer. This is really cute. And then the sides look like that. Now for the bottoms, all you have to do is find the ones that match. This is obviously a match for this. And you'll see that it comes together. It's very easy, you just pull it open. And it kind of does it on its own. And then there's your gift box. I abs run and grab these. This to me is such a great deal. And I mean, can you imagine tissue paper in there? You can do a mug with some candies. You could put, uh, I mean, uh, expensive gifts could go in here. This could be one of those boxes inside of a box where you have a smaller box inside. But, um, you know, socks, earmuffs, rolling up a scarf, putting in some a scarf with some jewelry, you know, just a whole variety of fun things that could go in here. Um, I used these last year for the mugs that I gave out. My hubby got one. And then, of course, you see the bottoms, the other ones here. Oops. So there's the other four bottoms. All right, and then I got another pack, different designs, and I'll open up and show these. I'm not going to unfold these because you've already seen how they work. But these I thought are a little, little bit more chic. This one's very pretty, as is this one. Very farmhouse here. Oh, wow, hold on. So here's, here's the sides for these. All right, it's the same, this one as that. This one has the stripes, okay. I love this. Look at that plaid, oh, gorgeous. This is a very farmhouse. Okay, and then this last one are the poinsettias. It's the same pattern on the back. And then, no surprise, the bottoms. Oh, look at that plaid. Look at that. These are just gorgeous. So, I've added to my stash. Not that it was lacking, but I did add to my stash. Okay, what's in here? Oh, I did pick up for my granddaughter one of these dough kits. This one is called Birthday, and I got it because I love these molds. I found a Play-Doh, I want to say it's probably supposed to be like a microwave or pizza oven or something at the thrift store for like $3, and I got it for one reason, and that was because it was covered with these little tiny molds to make mushrooms and 
pineapple rings and tomato slices and, you know, lettuce leaves and different things that you put on pizza or, you know, fun things. And I mean, there are molds all over this thing on the handle, on the top, on the bottom, on the door. I mean, and that's the only reason I bought it. I said, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it had batteries. I put batteries in it and the batteries work and she absolutely loves it. And so this comes with dough and it comes with a color guide to show you how to mix, which is good for kids. They need to know that. And so um, I like that it's got the roller and the two things of molds and then the little edges for you to cut and stuff. I thought that was a good deal for $1.25. And then I picked up another one at another Dollar Tree. This was, this is the new one that's near my house that I absolutely love. This one's the dinner one. And that also has these molds as well as those. And the one called cookies just has cookie cutters, but I, I really like these. I think those are really good. So those are actually going to go to my daughter for stocking stuff or shopping or stocking stuff or gifts for her. Oh, I do have something that did not come from Dollar Tree, but I did get this from Aldi. This is the chocolate orange. My, this is the stocking stuffer from my daughter who lives at home. And so she wanted one last year. I said, done, done and done. I never could find them. And then finally I saw them this year at Aldi. And I said, you're coming home with me. I was looking for something else. So I got a lot of stocking stuffers in here. So I picked up this. I've always walked by this until Maria Crafty Girl mentioned it. And I was just like, huh. And actually my sister said, this is great if your hair is thinning. It's a great way to stimulate your scalp. I thought, that's good to know. Good to know. All right. Oh, I did. I saw another type of box. This has four in it, and I'm very curious of what size this is. So let's indulge me, please, while I open this one. And again, add to my stash. This was the print that I found that I liked the most. In my shop with me. I think this is in my day five shop with me. But here is the lid for this and the sides. Oh, I'm already loving it. I'm already loving the size I'm seeing just from it opening like that. Okay, so here's the first one. It says Merry Christmas. Again, this is very farmhouse. Happy holidays. And this has that red wood grain look. Can you see that wood grain look? Very pretty. Merry Christmas, just plain white on the sides. And then the last one is Season's Greetings. And this is, I guess, like the green wood grain on the side. So this is very farmhouse, really loving this, okay? And so it looks like all the boxes, all the bottoms of these boxes are white. Okay, so let me open one up. Oh, I'm loving this. See, it used to be that the boxes were really thin and shallow, and there's very little that you could put in them. But look at that. So now I have two new, I have two favorite boxes from Dollar Tree. This is four for a dollar twenty-five, and this is five for a dollar twenty-five. These are nice thick boxes that are deep that you can put some wonderful gifts in. I love it. So glad I found those. All right. I did pick up two pair of the Juncture 3-in-1 Magic Gloves. So you can wear them three ways. Fingerless or just by itself. So there's a solid underneath. There's the fingerless. You can wear them together. You can wear them separate. So there's three different ways. I got the blue and black and the pink and black. That'll be a stocking stuffer. I also picked up the microfiber hair wrap. This goes, it's a great way to absorb a lot of moisture. Your hair dries faster. And during the winter, that's important. And Again, with the hiccups with me. What in the world? I did pick up the Pink Vanilla Wish. This huge, huge bath bomb. 
That's a stocking stuffer. As are the eyelashes and the eyelash glue. Something fun. I never paid attention to these until I used them at the reunion, and I was very happy with the results. I didn't look like I was some kind of a puppet. You know, I thought, okay. I got my son-in-law's name in the name draw. We do a name draw, and so uh, we try to spend, you know, about 30 bucks, 25 to 30 bucks per person. And so if you if they don't have something specific, that they're looking for that's in that price range like you know they they want a new blouse or you know something like that we always encourage them to just put together a bunch of stuff you know like that we we include a list of things we like what's your favorite candle scent what's your favorite snack what's your favorite candy what's your favorite book or author or genre you know so we have a variety it's a huge list that we fill out well my son-in-law whom i haven't seen in a while even though they live like two miles away that's how busy we are um he usually has a beard, although I'm thinking right now he might be clean shaven. But when I saw these, I had to get them. It's the Power Stick Beard Balm and Beard Wash. I know that my son-in-law can grow a beard in a day. And so that'll be going in the gift basket I'm putting together for him. I did find these five blade razors. There's three per bag, but it's got five blades. So this is a stocking stuffer for someone, and this is a stocking stuffer for someone. That's good. I mean, five blades. You can't go wrong with that. And then look at look at that. You know, that's a good sized. Can you see that? So five stainless steel blades, lubricating strip, and a rubber handle for women. And this one's for men. Stainless steel lubricating strips and a rubber handle. So the difference is the color. Okay, there's that. I did pick up some more of these um, fabricated sea glass. It's tumbled glass to look like sea glass, uh, not true sea glass, but you know, I'll take it. I'm using this for a DIY project for a gift. I might do a DIY film of that. This is also a stocking stuffer. I have some of this and I absolutely love it. It's creamy. It's rich. It smells so good, but it's not overpowering. So that is going to go in the stocking stuffer as are these two. These eyeshadow sets are beautiful. Very kind of natural, the pinkish brown. I think that one's my favorite. This one's called Pink Harmony. If I'm not mistaken, I have that one. And then this one here is called Hello There, which I think is cute. But these are kind of on the natural, you know, I tend to not, I would, once in my life, I would love to be completely glammed up with the glam makeup. You know, I don't recognize myself. And then the last thing I got, which is a stocking stuffer for my hubby, are the Hobbit 3D playing cards. I have no idea if just this is 3D. See how that does that? I love it. Or if every card is 3D, or if that's just the the way it is. Let me run my scissors. I'm just gonna try and slice that open so I can take a peek. Go get scissors. Okay. I don't like ripping the boxes when I'm trying to open crayons or anything else, you know, that has one of these type things. I hate it when the box rips. Okay. Oh, this comes in a nice tin. Oh my goodness. Look at that for a dollar 25. Okay. This is a separate little card, which I love. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in the box, but that's neat. Okay, and then this box, oh my gosh, you guys, oh, this is definitely worth a dollar and 25 cents. Gandalf is on the front. I think I'm going to need to take these out. I got this. Oh, I'm going to have to open these. Oh my goodness. 
I want to see what all of these cards look like. This is going to have to be a Christmas Eve gift for my hubby, not a stocking stuffer, because my family plays poker on Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. Okay. All the cards are 3D. So there's Gandalf. I don't remember the, the elves, the uh, dwarfs' names, but there's a different dwarf. This is unbelievable. This is Dwalin. Remember him. Healy and Feely, one of those. It's Hanson. He was in that. Oh, he starred in that series. What's it called? I can't remember. It's kind of a sexy series. I couldn't keep watching it. I couldn't watch it. Ugh, the Troll King. Disgusting. make Thorin Oakenshield the Jack. Oh, it wasn't the king, it was the prince. Okay, got it. All right, the queen is Galadriel. Oh. And the king is Frodo. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. I am so glad I got this. So it was with a bunch of other playing cards. And I, you know, I said, oh, this is nice. Let me see if I can slide this back in here. But that, no, you know, it's not going to work. I'll just put it here in this velvet and comes in the nice tin case right in here. Put it back. that on there and then I'll slip it back into this box with this fun little card here on the front. So that's a super find and I think that's it. I think that's all I have right now. That's it. All right. Well, thanks for spending a little time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're finding things like this. I'm still on the hunt for five more snowflake plates. <laughs> But um, make sure you like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and please comment below. Let me know if you're finding these things or what's on your wish list, and uh, let me know your ideas as well. I'd love to provide whatever content you'd like to see. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.